Hi, this is George Carlin, and I thought we might take a look at some of the pictures from the days when my show business career was just starting. This is one of the earliest photos of my days as an actor. Here I'm playing the part of a baby in an early production of a play called Hold On to the Rail. As proof of the intensity I brought to the role, lying nearby, you can see a doll that I had recently strangled. This is a candid photo of my first manager and I having a business conference in the park where we knew we couldn't be bugged. In this photo, I'm trying out a new funny face that I'd been working on for about six months. Now, here I am with uh, two of my fellow actors from the West Harlem production of either Ben-Hur or The Sound of Music. You can't really tell from what we're wearing there because those are our street clothes. And the person off to one side is our personal manager who insisted on being in all of our publicity photos. This is a rare photo. Uh, this is a photo of me in a singing group called the Mills Brothers. Uh, we didn't know that there was already a group in existence by that name. Uh, the Mills Brothers sued us, so we dropped two guys and changed the name to Mickey and Sylvia. This is a picture of the time I came in second in a suntan contest. The boy in the middle won, but it was uh, later he was disqualified when it was discovered he had been using pep pills. Uh, this is the same photo with the negative reversed. As you can see, the suntans are approximately the same on the back. This is me during an early suicide attempt. I was despondent at that time because my puberty was coming along very slowly. This one was taken during the nationwide search for a replacement for Lassie. I remember this picture. I, I'm trying to get my dog Spotty, a fox terrier, to stand up straight and act like a collie. Uh, although he didn't get the part, later he did go on to become Morris the Cat God Rest His Soul's manager. This is a picture of me and the boy who doubled for me during my early film career. Normally, I did all my own stunts, except for the scenes involving homosexuality, of course. And this boy served that purpose. This is me singing in a trio I had started, which was called the Ink Spots. Oddly enough, the NAACP sued the trio and forced me to drop out when I couldn't prove there was such a thing as flesh-colored ink. This is my first communion picture. It was so well received that I decided to use it for publicity, and to this day, this is the picture that I send out when producers call and ask me if I'm interested in serious acting.